Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at getting a cheap Windows 10 license. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Windows 10 licensing, and in particular, how to get a cheap Windows license key. Now the first question which you really should be asking yourself is, do I actually need a Windows 10 key? Now that depends very much on which side of the fence you're on. If you're on the somewhat grey side of the fence, then maybe you don't actually need a key. What do you use your PC for? Do you want to have the full benefits of the Microsoft software? If the answer is no, then it's a very strong likelihood you can just run Windows 10 with it nagging you away in the background to activate your copy of Windows. So if you don't want to set up your own custom wallpaper or have access to things like Microsoft OneDrive and other Microsoft services, then you can probably download the Microsoft software directly from the Microsoft site, put it onto a USB key or CD or DVD for that matter, install it onto your device, and without really any hassle, you can run Windows 10 pretty much as it is intended to be. You can play all your games, you have no restrictions, apart from obviously the ones we discussed just now, but you don't really need to put a license key in. You can actually install it. When you get to the installer, just click on the button saying, I don't have a key or install key later, and it will go through the entire process, will go online, you can use it as you would normally. So that's the pretty much the gray side of it. So in that instance, if you're not particularly bothered, you can just get away with installing it. Now, obviously, this is not the entirely legal way of doing it, but it is a loophole which has been left open. Now, if you're on the completely white side of the fence, where you want to do everything completely legitimately, then the best way of doing that is, in all honesty, go to the Microsoft Store and buy your Windows license, or alternatively, buy your license key from one of Microsoft's approved vendors or someone within the channel. There are a whole host of OEM resellers which will sell you a Windows license key for in a region around about $100 or £100 depending where you go. Some are a little bit more expensive than that. I had a look on Amazon today and some of the OEM license keys or retail license keys are in the region of $150, $180. So you really do have to look out where you're getting it from and kind of shop around a little bit. Now speaking of which, I will be putting links in the show notes below so you can check out some of the options that I personally use when looking for Windows license keys. Now another way of maintaining or getting a Windows 10 activation doesn't require much more than having a PC already. If you're upgrading a PC or a laptop such as like this Dell model, there's a strong likelihood that if you look on the base of the machine, there'll be a license key. Now on this particular model, the license key has been removed. Now possibly that has been because the previous owner has maybe resold that key to one of these sites, or maybe it was just lost at some point during the life of the machine. But normally you would have a license key which would be stuck to the machine which would look a little something like this. So if you've got one of those license keys stuck onto the base of your device, if it's a Windows 7 or Windows 8 device and you've got a 25 digit activation key, then you can actually try that within Windows 10 and in the majority of cases that will actually activate your copy of Windows. Now there are some minor differences between Windows Home Editions and Professional Editions so obviously take that into consideration but there is a strong likelihood that you'll be able to activate your device. Now, what if you can't activate the device or you don't have a key available? Now, on the grey market, there are many, many resellers that will quite happily sell you a Windows license key for anywhere from around three pounds in the UK, which is a ridiculously low amount of money. And obviously, if they can sell it for three pounds or three dollars or whatever the case may be, and large scale retailers are selling it for nearly $100 or £100, what is the difference? Now that is a, a massive legal minefield and in the UK and also the EU recently they've actually made it so that people can actually legally resell OEM keys. Now it's a, a very different story in the US where the US have actually sided with Microsoft and pretty much clamped down on most of the OEM keys being resold in the channel. But there isn't really any problem from someone from outside of the EU or the UK actually logging onto one of the UK sites and making a purchase. For example, if you go to eBay 
and put in a search for Windows 10 OEM key or license key, you can go through, browse some of the vendors, look for one who's got some pretty decent feedback, and you can quite easily find a Windows 10 key for around about three pounds. So you don't want to spend the full money on Windows key from a, a big box retailer. You don't particularly want to buy one off eBay. So what else can you do? Well, also you can download a crack or a activation hack, such as the KMS Pico or the Microsoft Toolkit. Now, if you do a search on Reddit, you'll find plenty of links to those. I won't be linking those in the description below for obvious reasons, but the option is out there. If you, uh, if you want a kind of a hacktivated copy of Windows 10, it's pretty easy to do so. But as with anything, if it's free or it's a hack, there is a likelihood of compromising your system, security breaches, and also quite often some of these hacks actually require you to download their own custom version of Windows 10, which could contain all sorts of things. So the moral of the story really, what side of the fence are you on? How much do you want to pay for your Windows license? For me personally, I'm quite happy to buy the OEM keys off of eBay and take my chances. For the sake of three pounds, if it only lasts a year or maybe a couple of years or even a few months, it's still a heck of a lot cheaper than spending a hundred dollars or so on a genuine product. But where do you sit on the fence with this? Let me know in the comments, I'll be really interested to find out. So that pretty much wraps up this discussion. Like I said, there'll be links in the show notes below so you can check out some of the options that I personally use. And again, I would really love to hear your comments and see how you get your Windows 10 keys. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.